Hi, beautiful people. I just want to talk a little about a little bit about repentance, and I just want to give you a word, Deuteronomy four and twenty nine. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul, and yes, you will, you will find him. And I just want to say. Everybody, everywhere in the world, all nations, all kindreds, all creation, repent. Repent, repent, repent. Ask forgiveness. Go into fasting and ask the Lord to forgive you. Pour out your heart to him. Cry with tears. Ask forgiveness. Please do it. It is for your own good. The Lord is so holy and we all came short of the glory. We are all sinners. There, and I told you, our fight is not against flesh and blood, but it's against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness in high places. And anything you've done, they've been holding an account for it. So just repent, 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 and plead the blood of the Lamb over everything, everything you buy. And do not leave your house without putting on your armor. That is the belt of truth, the shield, the, the shield of faith, wherewith you could quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and your feet shown in the preparation of the gospel of peace. Do not leave your house without putting on your armor and pray both night and day. Pray all the time. Pray without ceasing. Pray in your head cast down every evil imagination pray constantly in your head okay and that's why it says be an instant prayer and pray without season because you i told you people curse you in their minds that's why you got to cast down evil imaginations people can curse you by looking at you that's why you always should be praying or in some s spiritual songs or hymns or psalms you know you understand what i mean i'm just helping you guys out a bit and how to spot a false prophet well, we know 1 Corinthians 11 and 7 says, For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man, right? So even if these guys have headbands on, their heads are not supposed to be covered, all right? So that's a key. That's Those are Satan's agents, all right? And another thing, when they have kerchiefs or rags or things like that, Ezekiel 13 and 18, and say, thus says the Lord God, woe, to the woman that sew pillows to all armholes and make kerchiefs upon the head of every stature to hunt souls. Will you hunt the souls of my people? And will you save the souls alive that come onto you? So even women do it, but you got to understand there's scriptures for all of these things. I don't just talk to talk. Um, I can bro I can bring, I can show you the proof. So you guys got to wake up Psalms 82 and five. They know not, you guys don't understand. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Because you don't understand that we live in both the spiritual world and the physical world. Right? And I just want to pull Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay? Yes. Just wanted you to know that. But what did Christ do? And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them. <laughs> now, there is another deception that um, a lot of these Hebrew camps are saying that devils mean deception. That is not what a devil means. Devil means an evil spirit. When the, e when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick. Yes. And do you guys understand what it means to be the light of the world? Do you understand why it says, I was not sent but to the lost sheep of Israel? You are supposed to teach the nations. You are supposed to teach the world. You are supposed to let them start walking in darkness and teach them light. You're supposed to be delivering them from demons. You're supposed to teach them the true gospel of the Most High. 
And all you racist Israelites out there, God is love. You don't understand the character of the Most High. And you don't understand what your job is. And um, yes, there is two nations that will never enter the congregation of the Lord, but you are still supposed to preach the gospel. You understand? You are supposed to, you're not supposed to be racist and you're not supposed to be having hate in your heart. So that's another indication of these false prophets. Um, they don't bear the fruit of the spirit and you'll know them by their fruits. And I just wanted to help you guys a little bit on identifying the type of people and the pastors that go, Jesus! Um, remember, they work for Satan. You got to say Christ. And another thing, you guys do call on the wrong name, but because of God's mercy he still and Christ's mercy, he still answers you. Just understand that. It's not because of your righteousness, O house of Israel. Know that. It's because of the Lord's mercy and his grace because you're still you're under grace all right but um you guys seek the lord's face with all your heart and all your soul and you will be found of him all right and we're going to talk about moloch because the most high is really does not like this thing and you guys going back in the ways of egypt um with the star of moloch right and calling upon these all right amos 5 and 26 but you have borne the tabernacle of your moloch and shewing your image, the star of your God, which you made to yourselves. Yeah, you took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your God, Raphim, figures which you made to worship them, and I will carry you beyond Babylon. So this is something that already happened in Egypt, you know. And then you guys are doing it again today outside. Repent, repent, repent. You're not even doing your job. You're not saving souls. You're not delivering people. You're not teaching them about the spiritual realm. This light is against the kingdom of light against the kingdom of darkness. You understand? You guys are not being the light of the, of the world. You're actually holding people back from prospering. You're supposed to wake up all nations. You're supposed to turn people from darkness to light. You're supposed to be that light in the world with the knowledge. Oh, house of Israel, is it not, is it, isn't it you to know judgment? Are you not to know judgment and the word of the Lord? He will be found of you. Don't prophets come out of you? But you haven't been doing what you're supposed to do. But I pray that you start and you start to repent. I pray every nation, every tongue, every kindred repents and pours out their heart, their soul, and their tears to the Most High God. And repent. Repent, repent, repent. Because that's what the enemy doesn't want. Rep I want you guys to repent. I want you to pray. I want you to plead the blood over everything and ask forgiveness of the sins of your ancestors and your parents and your family and to destroy all the legal rights that any principalities and powers have to your lives and to cut it asunder with the word of God. Okay? Yeah. And read your Bible. Read Psalms, read Psalms. You can learn so much in the book of Psalms. Read Proverbs, you can learn a lot in Proverbs. Read Isaiah, read Revelation. Just read your Bible. And here's another thing I want to tell you too before you read your Bible. You must pray. Pray for spiritual knowledge and spiritual understanding and for the Lord's Spirit to guide you and for the Holy Spirit. You must pray before you read your Bible. You mustn't just pick up your Bible like that and ask him to lead you by his spirit where you should go and give you knowledge and wisdom and understanding of what you read. And you guys have a blessed day and make the most high bless you. And I hope that helped you on your enlightenment and your journey. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.